And on that day, the god said, Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Games Games today. And only today, we are here with a thank you slash celebration slash happy anniversary video to the one and only, the go the throat goat, the icon, the, the sucky succubus, the, the most adorable little shit in this world. Kirby, all right, but before we get into that discussion, of course, thank you all for enjoying all the videos. Subscribe to your boy, continue to support the content, all that stuff. And of course, make sure, guys, hold up. You need, you need to do, all right? Yeah, you need to do for me, all right? Let me tell you right now, as I'm running away from you, okay? You need to buy the game's case if you all right that's right i could have edited myself running back and forth but i didn't i ran for you okay you need to get this all right first of all you got knuckles you got shadow the hedgehog you got aiming you got sonic and you got eggman well i don't know what else you want in this world so Buy the G Fuel, buy this, the fucking, the party punch flavor, buy the peach rings, buy whatever you want, right? Use code GAMESCAGE in the description below. Use it on anything you want for G Fuel. Right, support your boys, support the hype and everything, okay? Plus, it tastes really good, okay? And it's really enjoyable and stuff. So, without further ado, keep supporting the G Fuel and, of course, support your boy over here. So, let's begin the discussion right now. So, Kirby. 30 years, man. Right now in Japan, it is officially the 30th anniversary of Kirby the Hedge. Okay, brain rot. Kirby the Blob of, of Oh my God, that was holy shit. I'm I'm broken. I'm <laughs> Sonic broke me, everybody. But yeah, no, it's Kirby's anniversary, and man, like it's so funny with Kirby. Like it, you know, 30 years. Um, I've always said about Kirby that it's sort of this franchise for me that it's like. I've just loved it, like, consistently my entire life. Like, it's never been a game that's, like, a series that's, like... And I think a lot of people feel this. Like, with Kirby, it's not really a game series where, like, it's, like, the only thing you consume. It's everything, right? It's sort of that thing of, like, a Kirby game comes out, you play it. Oftentimes, you love it, you enjoy it. And you sort of just, like, patiently wait for the next one. Because they're always soon after each other. I mean, I think there's a Kirby game every year to max. You will never go more than two years without a Kirby game. And I think that's sort of why people love this franchise so much. And why it's sort of one of those... It's funny, right? Like, Kirby... Kirby himself is more iconic than most things out there, but they don't sell like insanely well. Like Kirby games aren't, you know, the 10 million plus sellers that you have like with your Mario parties, your Splatoons, your Zeldas, Marios and all that. But it's a franchise that like consistently sells to like a couple million people every time, you know, every console generation. I think it's just because, you know, it's that franchise that everybody can identify, you know, and be like, oh shit, you know, I'll play this Kirby game. You know, some people skip out on some, some people go into them. It's it's really, it's, it's fascinating to think about Kirby, like not just as a concept, but as a franchise for Nintendo and how labs, how they've taken care about it. I mean, we all know the story, you know, Sakurai invented Kirby, uh, worked up until, uh, superstar and actually kind of worked on what's called uh dream uh, i think dreamline on gba and uh, kirby's air ride kirby air ride uh was the last one he worked on and you know it's, it's crazy like it's so funny how with kirby you could see so much of the dna of smash bros and i mean you go back to all the oldest games like from superstar you know you have your down a's your regular a's and then some of your special moves have like up b's and side b's and all this stuff like it is hilarious to see like how much of kirby like is integrated in into smash because obviously like, a lot of those concepts went into smash but yeah man like with kirby it's just it's that constant man it's a it's a franchise that's meant a lot to me i remember i feel like my earliest memory with kirby i'm pretty sure because i'm looking at the list of releases here right because i think for me it was the gba um and i was playing what was what was it called uh it was amazing mirror and uh dreamland nightmare and dreamland those were the gba kirby games i started playing i think those were the first First Kirby games I ever played uh and then I think I had Kirby's Dreamland uh like I bought a copy of Dreamland that you know when you could put like G Game Boy Color games in your in your what's called GBA or something like that but I remember I played those are my first three Kirby games it was like Dreamland it was Nightmare in Dreamland I think which is a remake of it or something uh and Amazing Mirror which like was just so much fun and then what well, once that happened it was like it was I don't want to say it was over but it was that thing of like oh my god I love this franchise 
that I remember I had an N64, uh, and I remember playing Kirby 64 on it. I remember DS, a canvas curse, and of course, I remember Kirby's Air Ride. I had Kirby's Air Ride, and what a fun, weird game. You know, it's funny. Everybody grew up thinking, like, City Trial was the best thing about Kirby's Air Ride. I never grew up playing City Trial. I always just played, you know, the default race mode, and I just, I really love that, right? And I'm looking at these releases, you know, Kirby's Dream Land 3. I hadn't played until later in my life, and Kirby's Dream Land 2, but it's just, like, it's just it's such a, it's such a wonderful franchise and and i think what's so dope about it and what i love about it so much is like what a cool idea man just this little pink blob where, where is he at bro no, how am i gonna how am i gonna talk about the goat here right and not pull up an image of the most adorable thing ever conceived in humanity i mean like bro look at this dude look at what i pull him up pull him up pull up Google Chrome, I swear if you do this thing now where everything's a web P, I'm going to fight you and we are not going to be best friends for the rest of the artists. I don't know if anybody has had this happen to them. We're like, now Google just hates uh, making images and they just web P everything. Stop! What? Now I'm just going to go in and rant everybody. Now I'm just going to rant about web P's. Where this is no longer a Kirby discussion. This is a web P discussion. All right? I do not accept web P files ever. But look at this dude. Look at, look at Kirby. Look is he not the best conceived thing ever created and it's just like it's so funny how he is literally the simplest design you could ever think of it's a ball with hands and feet and it makes the cutest sounds like yeah and he does a little dance he says hi and everybody loses it and it's like there is just but it's crazy how much flexibility they've been able to have with this character with this design obviously an integral part of that is the power-ups you know the mechanic you know you you eat these enemies you get their powers and also curvy music always fantastic always will be um it's just so lighthearted and fun a lot of times obviously there's some like crazy epic ones but yeah like it's like the the power-ups have always been such a iconic part of the series and let me know in the gods below what's your favorite kirby game and your favorite uh kirby power because i think my favorite power-ups if i were to like really boil it down to my top three fighter kirby i adore fighter kirby i just like i like that he's basically like a street fighter character he's got he literally has like a short you can he's got like his big like um but a mash and convos that like that that stuff's awesome. Uh, Wheel Kirby. Wheel Kirby is one of my favorites. Obviously, big Sonic fans or anything that makes me go fast. I will take that and just looks cool. Um, and also another one. I really love some of the modern ones. Like I like Psy, the one that's like kind of like Ness, Ness ability. I think that was in Triple Deluxe, I'm pretty sure. Uh, or Robobot, one of those two games. And uh, even in Forgotten Land, I want to say, like, some of the fully powered up weapons, I don't want to spoil some for people that haven't played, um, are really, really dope. But yeah, and, and, like, I just, everything about Kirby, man, so dope to me. And I've always just loved, it, it's always, like, it's funny with Kirby, like, whenever there's a new game, I always look forward to, oh, like, what's going to be the new power up? You know, what's going to be the new gimmick? Because Kirby games, often their thing is they have the gimmick. You know, what's the hook of this game? You know, you look at Kirby Mass attack on the ds where you're suddenly split the 10 kirby's that you're like dragging across the screen or you look at a game like canvas curse and you're just a ball and you have to draw a line you have uh it's called robobot where your whole flow is you got the mech you know you got triple deluxe where it's like you have the mega suck you know and then you got uh return to dreamland where you got the giant weapons there's always like a little fun hook uh to kirby games and that's always like such a fun thing to look forward to with kirby forgotten land we had the mouthful mode uh, stuff and again like really I just I love how I I feel like that this is so much this so this is why like simplicity can add so much depth you know because with simplicity comes the ability to be able to make things you know super in depth because you have this just simple character that because they are so simple in design stuff you are able to do so much with them because Kirby is essentially a canvas right and you're you can just paint that canvas to do whatever you know because of how simple he is I think that's what makes so much of the franchise special aside from the music um i also love well, another thing about kirby is it sort of has the pokemon effect where like there's always the thing you know is gonna be in the next game so you always know there's gonna be a wispy wood fight you always know there's gonna be an ultra secret boss that's crazy you always know there's gonna be like a true arena um towards the end of the game you always know you know there's gonna be new power-ups there's always like the the sort of things you expect in the next game and that's sort of cool to me you know i 
I sort of I like that. There's always like a feeling of like it's nice to know where something is coming. Okay, all right. When am I gonna get to this fight? When am I gonna get to this thing? But they'll always throw like a unique twist on it. And you know, where's the DDD fight? Where's the Meta Knight fight? And they'll always DDD is always gonna be get controlled by somebody, you know, because he's not actually a bad person anymore, which is hilarious. But yeah, I just I mean, obviously like other characters too from from Kirby. Like a lot of the bots are would make Kirby if anything unique in terms of like characters. But like, come on, I mean, King DDD one of the coolest villains you know especially from the cartoon back in the day i i can never get his voice out of my like i'm gonna kill that damn kirby the, i did a good job there um but yeah and of course meta Knight. i mean come on man meta knight one of the coolest dudes and all the iterations of meta knight you got like your morpho knight you got your man you got like your borjo uh, it's, uh, there's so many different versions of these characters and they just find a way to make it consistently cool and of course we cannot forget about the eldritch horror that is the final bosses of kirby gives I mean, some of these games like you got what's called like you you have these like nightmare inducing creatures like the one especially for forgotten land is insane uh you got like the one that's like the the ball it's like just kirby what is it like Fe vecto plat whatever there, there's a weird name i don't know all the names of the villains. i'm listen man kirby lore is fucking crazy like i'm not even joking if you there you go on youtube just search kirby lore video you're just gonna lose your mind and it's a whole situation but yeah man like kirby is just it's that friend it's it's that guy you know kirby of all things is definitely that guy i don't know a single person that hates kirby like literally like i like it's one thing to not be into the franchise but like no one hates kirby he's just a fucking cute little dude um he's got all the adorable dances the fan art's always amazing the the characters the, the way that and i love that the way the series is treated is so like well done like every mostly mainline game is great to amazing like literally every single one again they have their spin-offs you know like your kirby fighters and your a clash royales that are your free to play like whatever stuff but for the most part when a mainline kirby game comes out it's just it's fun, man. Like, it's, it's just a fun, simple romp. One game I'll never forget is Epic Yarn. Kirby's Epic Yarn on the Wii. It was this Kirby game, you know, you were literally yarn. Um, but it was one of the most relaxing, fun experiences. Like, it's just, it's a game just where you're just going through it and experiencing the level design, you know, with that game. And the music is so chill and getting all the collectibles is fun. Like, that's what I love about Kirby. I mean, Kirby has always been designed, like, always as the most kid-friendly, approachable Nintendo franchise. You know, the, it'll always be, you can float through the level, you know, you can just kill enemies really quickly and all this stuff. For Gone Land, definitely takes, like, that step up a little bit, you know, to be like, okay, hey, now there's some older fans. But for the most part, anyone can play any kirby game but a lot of the the charm of difficulty and stuff comes from trying 100 percent which a lot of them can be really challenging and then of course like your final your end game stuff like your true arenas and all that that's what really tests you out there but yeah man i just i'm so thankful for this franchise it means a lot to me i'm really happy it exists um i'm very excited for it if i were to say like my five favorite kirby games like no order um forgotten land of course recently Kirby's Epic Yarn, very important to me. Kirby's Superstar slash Ultra. I, I, Superstar and Ultra are so amazing. I'll never forget the first time I played Superstar. And every time I'd beat like a campaign or a Monet, you just unlock another one, unlock another one, unlock another one. It, just, it was really satisfying. So you got those three. Uh, I would say Kirby Robobot. I would say Robobot is definitely out there in terms of what's it called? In terms of uh, top tier Kirby games. And then number five, I want to say... <sighs> Ooh, what's another good one? What's another good one? I could say Squeak Squad. I could say I could definitely say Squeak Squad. But I do also love Kirby's Dreamland 3. Ooh, I'll say Return to Dreamland. Return to Dreamland on the Wii. Wait, did I say Epic Yarn? Wait, no. Wait, I said I said Epic Yarn, Forgotten Land, Superstar Slash Ultra, Robobot. Okay, Robobot and uh what's it called? Then I will give it to yeah, Return to Dreamland because that on the Wii was a big part of my child and that was really fun. But I love so many like almost every Kirby game I love like I said I really adore Nightmare in Dreamland I really love Amazing Mirror I really love Squeak Squad I really it's just like it's just a wonderful franchise you know and I think the only time I was ever disappointed with a Kirby game was Star Allies and even then it was like a fun little romp you know it was a fun little journey but aside from that I just love the the series the games in it and I'm just so happy that it's still alive 
and bigger than ever right now. I mean, I think everybody loved Forgotten Land, and now they're going to move on to more 3D stuff. And I like when they do the spin-offs of, of uh, the games and stuff. It's, it's really cool. I just continue to evolve and make Kirby a better franchise, and I can't wait to see where it goes next. So, guys, let me know what you all think about the Kirby franchise. Like I said, what are your favorite games? What are your favorite power-ups and everything? Let me know down below. And, of course, I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Happy birthday, Kirby. Happy birthday to Sakurai's baby. Happy birthday. Shout-out to Hot Labs for all the work you do and all that. So, peace out. Bye.